back to my channel if you're new. Hello, my name is Danielle. It's nice to meet ya. It is like five o'clock and I'm drinking coffee. It's, it's been a long day. I am so happy to sit here. Sit. I am definitely standing today. I'm really into standing up while making videos. It just gives me like an extra boost of energy and it's a little bit more fun because I like to move a lot. I'm so excited to be making this video. A lot of you guys have asked me how I maintain healthy and staying active in college while, well, being in college. Because it is really hard to like do really well in school and like have a social life, but also staying healthy and active and taking care of your body mentally and physically. So I wanted to do a video talking today about how to stay healthy, how to stay active, how to stay feeling fresh. And I have to say thank you so much to Vagisil for sponsoring this video. I am so beyond excited. Like that is such a huge brand for me to work with. And I really hope you guys can like appreciate it and be excited because I'm really excited. I'm working with Vagisil on this video to promote their sensitive sense line, including the daily intimate wash and the daily intimate wipes. They're amazing. I personally have been using the white jasmine scent. It smells amazing. The whole the thing behind sensitive is the sense and then it's also very sensitive for your lady parts down there. <laughs> it is something really, I know you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, she's talking about it, but it's something really important to talk about and we don't have to make it taboo. We can talk about it. We're all, we're all normal human beings here who can respect one another. But right now, let's get started on my first tip on how to stay active and healthy in college. Actually, this isn't one of my tips, but I thought I'd tell you guys. This is just some standard hot coffee, but I just added some collagen peptide powder to it. It's unflavored, so you can't taste it, but collagen is like super good for your hair, for your nails, for your skin, everything like that. Sorry if you guys can hear that truck, but um, we love it, and it's super easy to just incorporate into your everyday routine. Boom, right there. I'm kind of, so I feel like I'm justifying drinking this coffee, you know? Mainly because I have a stats test tomorrow, but we're gonna not think about that right now. My first tip is to walk to class instead of taking the bus. And and obviously I don't know your school campus situation. Maybe you guys don't even have a bus, but here at the University of Georgia, it is a very large campus and a lot of people just really do have to take the bus because it is quite literally a mile or two away sometimes. Um, I'm really lucky all my classes are walking distance enough that if I take the bus, like Danielle, like you need to get your act together. If it's a nice day out and it's not raining and it's not cold, I'm gonna walk to class. It's pretty easy for me. I really enjoy it because I usually end up running into someone I know or I just love it. It's like really good mentally for me because I'll just plug in my AirPods and I'll listen to a podcast. By the way, I have a podcast, Gals on the Go, link down below. Brooke and I have a podcast. We release new episodes every Wednesday just about life. It's great. But I'm really into listening to podcasts right now. I have a whole video where I talk about some of my favorite podcasts. You guys should totally check that out. It's called How to Stay Inspired, I think is the video, or Motivated. But yeah, walking to class is one easy way. Like I know UGA, like we have hills, you guys. So it's definitely an incline. It definitely gives that booty a workout. So it's just like something so simple or like taking the stairs to the second level of the building that you have class in instead of taking the elevator. There are days I take the elevator and I just want to slap myself. I'm like, Danielle, come on. You could have taken the stairs to the second floor. My second tip is to try a new workout class. If you guys have been following me along on all my college week and my life vlogs and all that fun stuff, you know that I've been really into Orange Theory right now, have to say. I was terrified of Orange Theory, to be honest with you guys, because the first half of the class you're running, but I didn't realize that if you truly don't want to use the treadmill, you can go on the bike or the strider, they call it. You just have to get there a little early to like get the card. And I just love spin class, so like I take the bike and I kind of make it my own class. Like the instructor kind of tells you what to do, but I'll kind of like stand up at certain points and make it more challenging. And the music is so good. And then the second half of the class is like weights and stuff, and you just feel like you have your own personal trainer. It's way less expensive than actually getting a personal trainer. I mean, Orange Theory is a little bit up there with the pricing, but it's way way cheaper than like getting a personal trainer. And I really enjoy it. A lot of my friends do it, so it's really motivating because you're in a class, but it's kind of like your own deal. Like you're not really comparing yourself to other people, but it's nice to have other people there. But anyways, just trying out a new workout class. Like I know at the UGA gym, like the first week of school they have, all the classes are free, so you can try them out. Like last year I went to Zumba. Um, they have like all these cardio classes, stuff like that. Like seriously be open, see if your local gym has like a membership where you can get like all the classes for free. It There's definitely ways to do it, and I just find classes really get me motivated, rather than just like going to the gym and just like being like, I don't know what to do. So after a good workout, you want to stay fresh. I know sometimes for me, I'll go to a workout in the morning and then literally go straight to class or go to lunch with a friend or something crazy like that. 
and I'm a very like I like to stay clean I like to stay feeling fresh and that's where the vaginal sensitive scents wipes come in because I don't have time to go back and shower right away all the time so I pull out the wipes I keep them in my bag it's super easy they're super sleek packaging again I like the white jasmine scent um, but I've been using these wipes for a while now it is so nice like seriously if you go to soul cycle or anything like that it's so nice to just kind of like stay fresh I suppose the Vagicel sensitive sense wipes I will have linked down below you can totally check them out they're an easy way to just kind of stay fresh and feeling good and stay healthy down there to be honest um, so you can keep it in your backpack whatever like no one's gonna really know like it's not like weird it's just good you're you're gonna smell good <laughs> then when I eventually get home to shower I go ahead and use the Vagicel sensitive sense wash which is um, you can use it all over but it is specifically made to like use in your more intimate parts because it's more sensitive of course and um, there's not like a ton of chemicals that are gonna like hurt it so that's really nice I love it for that the packaging is super cute the one I get is white jasmine and the top is yellow so naturally I love it but again it's just like extra clean especially if it's like your time of the month like it's good to stay clean I just gotta say it so I will have both of those products linked down below. You guys should totally check them and if you already use them, let me know. Seriously, don't like seriously be proud of yourself for like taking care of yourself. The next thing is to kind of be aware of what you're eating. Right before spring break of this year, I went vegan for like a month and a half just because I wanted to see how my body would react to it. I I don't know, I just wanted to try it. I didn't really know how it would go for me. My dad was vegan and a few of my friends were and I was intrigued by it. Um, and I, I did, you know, it wasn't the hardest thing in the world. There's a lot of vegan options these days now. But anyways, I'm not talking about veganism. I don't want to, like, get everyone started up or anything. But anyways, it wasn't for me because I do, fi I was finding that I was eating way too many carbs. And I wasn't eating enough protein or whatever because it was harder for me to, like, figure that out. And being in college, like, it was so easy to be like, oh, I'm vegan. I'm just going to eat french fries. <laughs> like, no. And let's be real, those french fries were probably not made vegan. So, anyways. So I was like, okay, I go to the University of Georgia in Athens, Georgia, and there's not a ton of healthy options. I mean, I can go grocery shopping, but let's be real. We're gals on the go. It is hard to stay healthy while you're in school or whatever. So I've just been trying to pay attention to what I'm eating and what I'm ordering. So when I'm at a restaurant, like, let's not get the pasta. I'm still going to get the pasta sometimes, but maybe I'll get the chicken and broccoli because it's a little bit more nutritious for, nutritious for me, but I know it's also going to fill me up. But when it comes to grocery shopping, I've been really into just grocery shopping for myself right now. I'm obsessed with Trader Joe's. I'm going to continue to make Trader Joe's hauls because I'm obsessed with their products. Like, everything is so good. Their freezer section is lit, y'all. Their freezer section. Oh, my gosh. My favorite thing right now is anything cauliflower product. In specific, I love the mashed cauliflower in the frozen section at Trader Joe's. I'm sure they have it at other grocery stores as well, but it's so easy to make. You just heat it up for five minutes, add some salt and pepper, and it's similar to mashed potatoes, and it fills you up, and it's just so much better than just eating a ton of carbs. Seriously. I mean, there is like a little milk they make it with, but like, I'm not butthurt. You know, it's fine. And I also have been really into the cauliflower gnocchi from Trader Joe's. I actually got this idea from Brooke, but I'll, mix, I'll put it on a pan, and I'll put tomato basil sauce, arugula and onions and oh my gosh that is like the best meal ever I honestly am starting to like it better than just regular potato gnocchi like and I'm Italian so it's just like an easy way or if like you don't have or maybe just don't add cheese to your salad just like little things because I know it's hard to just be on a diet especially as a student trust me I feel you those late night eats man Kind of on the same note, um, my friend gave me this tip the other day and I was like, honestly, like you're so right. So I thought I'd include it in this video. Actually, these are kind of like two tips. So let's say you just finished one bowl of food. Like let's say I finished a bowl of my cauliflower gnocchi because it's so good and I just want to go get seconds. Wait like five minutes, just go on your phone, do something and see if after those five minutes you still feel that same invigorating hunger because you probably won't. And also another good thing is to drink water in between like your bites. I'm someone, like I forget to order drinks. Like if I eat, like if let's say I go to Chipotle, I'm not gonna ask for a water cup. Like I'll usually forget just because when I'm hungry, I just wanna eat and then I'll just ask for water at the end and I just drink it at the end. Whereas most normal people, take sips in between which is really good to kind of help slow the eating process aka when you're done hopefully you'll feel more full than for me when I just eat really fast I'm like I still want more you know so 
I'm working on it. And my last tip, seriously, something that I've been doing since moving into my new apartment for some reason, I don't really know why. I've been standing up um, while working, so I kind of created this little stand-up desk in my kitchen. I still like to go to my normal desk in my office, but sometimes when I'm more on the go, I'll just pop my laptop, my planner, anything else I kind of need on my counter, and I'll stand up and I'll get stuff done. Because sometimes if I sit, I start to slouch, and then I'm like, oh, I'm tired. Like, I'm gonna go take a nap. Like, no, we don't have time for that. And it's really good. You're burning more calories, you're standing up, and you're not like sitting and being lazy so <laughs> I found it's an easy way to implement it and if you can do it especially if you're wearing like some fuzzy slippers or some platforms not platform sneakers but like cushion sneakers it's easy to stand up for a while um, so yeah something easy and I've been doing it for real seriously done it do it love it it's funny how the coffee is like slowly kicking in throughout this video. Those are all my tips. I really hope this video is helpful for you guys. I've kind of created these tips throughout the last, well, my whole time in college, but I've really the past two weeks been sitting down and trying to figure out how I wanted to film this video and the tips I want to talk to you guys about because I really, I truly did struggle first semester of freshman year of college with staying healthy and active while also doing well in like it was just hard. I was not treating my body right. And I don't want you guys to make that same mistake. So we're going to do it together. I love you guys. Seriously, thank you guys so much. Subscribe if you're new here. I'll have a link down below to those products once again. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.